Hey guys, it's Barbie Glitter. I really think I should do like a Barbie house makeover intro because I've done so many. I can't find those rails. So, uh, now would you look at that beautiful- ah! We're going to be giving my childhood dollhouse a makeover. I know what you're thinking. Why does it look like it survived a fire? I'll explain. So, at a very young age, me and Rowan decided to give this house a makeover. And we just started spray painting everything. And as you can see, there's layers of stickers. And then my dad's like, wait, you need to sand everything first. And that's where the sanding came along. So our painting went out of control, even with the furniture. So at my grown age, now that I have experience, I will give this dollhouse a makeover. As you know, from my old dollhouses, I usually modernize them. Some people call me boring for that, which, which is fine. You know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But um, I wanted to give this dollhouse this aesthetic specifically. I don't know what it's called, maybe it's kid core, indie, it's just so colorful, I love it. And I don't have to replace and make over all the furniture because I specifically bought Barbie furniture for this house because the furniture for this house was really short. And this furniture is just so nostalgic, like... Without further ado, let's get started. So here's the bedroom, uh, it's really big bigger than most of my dollhouse bedrooms. This bed used to have a mattress on it, but uh, my cousin had a great idea and decided, hey, I'm gonna put my baby puppy on this bed so he can sleep on it. And he peed on it. So it smelled like pee pee and that wasn't good. So after I threw away the mattress and my cousin, uh, I just, I'm just left with this now. On the side of the bedroom, we have the balcony. I always thought of putting like curtains or something because that'd be like really cool. But I've tried and it doesn't stick to hot glue, wood glue, any type of glue. I don't even think this is wood. This is wood, but like this feels like a substitute for wood. So for the balcony, I decided I wanted a swing chair. I know there's a couple of tutorials out there. I was seeing this Russian tutorial and I failed miserably. So I'm going to attempt to do my version you know, Americano style. So let's get started. So I'm gonna be using some yarn, skizzers, and these wired hula hoop thingies. I honestly don't know what they're called or what they're for, but I have them. And a crusty, rusty ratchet hot glue gun. So I'm just gonna wrap yarn around the ring. I mean rings, rings plural, meaning two. There's two rings. So I'm just going to cut various strands of yarn that are 13 inches long. Uh, I don't know how many. It's gonna go all around the hoop and I'm just gonna wing it like the rest of my projects. We attach it to the hoop by making little knots. And we just make a hoop and then pass the rest of the strands through the other side and pull. The process and then you finish the entire hoop. This took me a day. I doubt anyone is gonna do this. Basically, we get one strand from one side, another strand from another side, the ones that are next to each other, and they form a baby knot together. Repeat the same process around the entire hoop. So now we're going to start by doing our second row. We're also going to do a third row. However, we're going to leave about like 10 strands free without completing the third row. Why? It's because that's the gap where the legs are going to lay. The ring is going to be our seat. So we're just going to wrap, patch up any gaps so our doll's butt doesn't fall through. And we attach it where the knots are. So basically, we open up the two strands where the knot is and then wrap around those two strands around the ring. Trim off the excess. I'm just going to attach a strand of yarn to cover up those ugly edges. So I'm going to attach some knots around the border so I can hang the chair. Do not want to know the hassle I had to go through to put in that hook through the roof. Nailing it in was my last alternative because I've tried in tape and the doll is just too heavy for the swing. Also, this is what I chose for the flooring. 
added a plant i always add plants but you know it just seals the room so for the bed uh it has this shape right here kind of reminded me of this seashell print that i've seen of a mirror and that'd be really nice if i could apply that on the back of this but for that i need to sand this so here i am so i've seen that most uh seashell mirrors have like gold around them or black but on a bed i think i will do the gold so i think i was able to remove the sticker and the shine not the full coverage I was expecting, but hopefully with a few more coats, it would look better. After like eight coats, this is how it looks. Now I'm just gonna draw out the template for the mirror part. So I'm using the other side and I'm just marking and I'm just cutting them out. So I'm gonna be using this mirror reflective cardstock. Cut out the templates. Now the difficult part is gluing it. Oh, it looks so cool. For the mattress, I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard that fits right inside. <laughs> I can't dig it out. You will also need some white fabric and a crusty, dusty, ratchet hot glue gun. And if you don't have one, you can't do this. Cut a square bigger than the cardboard and glue the edges. She cute. So the thing about this aesthetic is that each room needs to have a color scheme. So purple usually goes with green and yellow usually goes with pink or pink and blue. So I chose yellow and pink for the comforter. So for bedding, uh, there are a couple tutorials out there. I have a tutorial also for my last Barbie house makeover. So have a pillowcase tutorial from another Barbie house makeover if you also want to check that out because I will be doing that right now. I actually need to iron these. I'll be right back. Now I'm just going to cut out the pillows. Um, is it breathing or is this going to explode? I am scared. It smells like chicken. Oh my god. Here's a sneak peek of the bed. Ooh, ooh. So before I work on the room, there's probably one furniture piece I would like to add, and that is a doll desk. I've never had a doll desk in the bedroom or in general. So that's probably like the first thing I'm gonna make so far. So let's get started. So I'm gonna measure how wide it is so I don't take up all the space so there's still room to pass through. So I'm gonna make the desk using cardboard. So the width is three inches. The height will be like six inches. Is it me or are they crooked? You know what, it's my fault for using this tiny ruler. Gotta get the big one. Ooh! So for the main piece, I stacked and glued three inches of width and six inches for height. And for the legs, instead of six, we're gonna do five inches of height. And I will use three legs instead of two because we're gonna incorporate drawers. File the edges. I also stack some squares. <coughs> I'm also gonna use a strip of cardboard for the support of the legs. So we get two strips, glue them on the corners like so. I take another strip and I'm gonna glue where the third leg's gonna be. Like these. These are the pieces I have. These are the three legs. I have three shelves. I don't know if I'll add more. Kind of lazy. And here's the main piece. Is it just me or is this drying really fast? It's giving me anxiety. Glue the legs. You know what? I'm getting tired of waiting. Look, it don't even stick. I'm using hot glue. So here's how the desk turned out. Now let's test it out. Oh, she fits. Now let's decorate the room. Okay, since the swing chair is here, I kind of want to put some curtains. As you know, I cannot stick anything to these walls, so I might just tape them. On this side, I kind of want to put some wallpaper. Now time to deal with this monstrosity. Hey, that's a little mean. The good thing is that this part is able to remove, and I'm just going to use the back side of it, which is completely white. So this is the wallpaper I want to use. Um, it has a bunch of words. I've been wanting to use it for a while, but I didn't know in what. 
So I feel like now it's time. Wait, what does it say? Today is the day to make your dreams come true. Make every moment matter. Be who you were meant to be. You have more courage than you think. Don't let your fear hold you back. Oh, these are manifestations. We're trying to send good vibes to the person that's gonna live here. So I accidentally had to patch it up up here because I ran out and I've been making new sentences like fake friends and memories. Like we don't want that on anyone. What kind of manifestations are those? Sorry about that. This side I'll put some curtains. Just gonna put it high up so I can cover up the tape. As for the floor, I don't have any wood wallpaper that's on the lighter side. It's usually like on the darker side and I don't want to throw off this color. I found some contact paper. <laughs> Wait, why is there a sponge? I thought it was covering a floor, not laminating a car. Let's see the direction. Bullets, pin, you to your pull and velour, pull on the velour. I just realized why my French teacher hated me. Huh. Okay, this is the hard part. I never liked contact paper. It's so hard to deal with. There's a sticky side, and if you don't put it on right, you can't put it on back again. There are some wrinkles here, but they're not going away, and I already sealed this part, like, really good. So, I'll just say that there is uh, water damage. <laughs> I also made some art and I got some inspo from Pinterest. I know the hot pink chair throws me off too. I don't want to transform any of my furniture. It's just the point of making a colorful room. So I'm going to add some leaves and this is what I found for a dollar. This is like the size of an onion. 